there was a huge East Timorese independence movement, and one of the watershed moments, the most important moments of that movement, was a massacre that took place in the Santa Cruz churchyard of unarmed Timorese independence marches. Um, and the Indonesian military gunned down, it would have got 280, 300 of them died. And it was a Sunday morning march, it was a peaceful march to protest the deaths in custody um, of East Timorese dissidents who'd been taken away by the army. And um, sorry. Um, one of the most kind of the weirdest aspects of the massacre was that the guy who ordered it, who was the general, General Wiranto, who was high up in the Indonesian army at the time, this happened in about 96. Um, no, he didn't, it was a bit earlier than that, it was the early 90s. Um, he wasn't there, he didn't order his troops to give the massacre in person to, to start the massacre. He gave the order, but he was in Jakarta, and while it was going on, he was filmed by a TV news crew with his consent in a karaoke bar, his favourite karaoke bar. So while the troops that he ordered were killing these 280, 300 armed protesters, he was singing Feelings in a karaoke bar in Jakarta, and that was broadcast on the TV news that night. So, uh, yeah, that's the story of the Santa Cruz massacre, the karaoke massacre as it became known. Yeah.